So yesterday we took a bus back from El Nido to Puerto Princesa and really just tried to catch up on some of our upcoming travels, which we're so excited for. Brayden and I are huge city people, so we're heading to the airport now to go to a city that's been on our bucket list forever. Forever, forever. <laughs> we're going to Singapore. I am so excited to see the buildings, the greenery. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be sweaty, but it's gonna be beautiful. We've wanted to go forever. We're only gonna go for a couple of days because it's so expensive. Yeah. So another thing is we leave tonight in the late afternoon and because we don't get there until early, early morning at 2 a.m. the next day, we'll stay in the airport, which is supposed to be like the best airport in the world. Thankfully, they do have an arrivals lounge, which is amazing. So once we get there, we can take our dirty little stinky selves over there, yep. hopefully get some coffee, wake ourselves up, and then head into the city whenever. I'm so stoked. <laughs> we made it. from Singapore. We're both very excited to be here. We're just a little tired. We haven't caught up yet from our flight. But our itinerary here is pretty short. It's not a great budget city, so we're not here very long. So we're just gonna try and get in the good stuff. We are going to go down to the marina to see the famous Marina Bay Sands. Of course, we can't afford to stay in it. Cheapest nights are like almost $400 a night. So we figured we'd travel for another month instead of staying there for one night. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, we really want to go to the biodomes, which are these huge glass structures that have really cool plants inside. We're going to just tour the city. We want to check out all the food. We're staying in Little India, which is the quote budget area. It seems cool though. It seems really cool. Yeah. Really colorful, really vibrant. It's just a clean city, really comfortable, really easy to get around. Diverse, Diverse, which we like. We don't like to stand out. <laughs> I think we're gonna like this place. Yeah. <laughs> because it's literally like the most iconic building in all of Singapore. They built this hotel because I guess Singapore was kind of struggling with tourism, so they wanted to build something that would bring people to the city, and it worked because you get the coolest infinity view overlooking the pool and the city, and I'm explaining it like I've actually been, <laughs> and I haven't. You're too dirt poor. Yeah, I'm pretty poor. That is it. That thing up there is a freaking swimming pool. So we are at Gardens by the Bay with the famous futuristic trees. Let's go check it out. This is probably the most pristine, clean park I've ever seen and it is free. The only part that's not free of course is the place that we're going. We're going in the domes and I think they're like 28 or so dollars a person, which is kind of rough, but uh, you're only in Singapore once. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. So there are two main attractions here. There's the flower dome, and then there's the cloud forest dome. We're gonna see how much it costs to hopefully do both. Yeah, so 28 Singaporean for both domes, and we're gonna do cloud forest first. This is the one that has the indoor waterfall. I'm so stoked. <laughs> Thank you. 
bottom level of the Cloud Forest Dome there is this really really cool theater and it's got this really nice video that's just this like dumbed down version of how horrible humans are to the planet and it was like dumbed down in the best way possible though like kids can understand it yeah and the reason they do it is because this building is like extremely sustainable and so they're really trying to bring light to the fact that they're not doing a lot of harm by having this here but also teaching you the effects of humans have on the yeah. planet. But it walks you through everything, like climate change, over-exploitation of natural resources. Animals. I mean, animals, literally everything. And it was so educational. And I feel like a lot of people need to watch these videos regularly. Yep. I mean, even ourselves. We, we don't have the best practices every day, and unfortunately we know that, but we do our best. Yep, <laughs> that was important. I like that. Yeah, very cool. Okay, on to the next one. Next one is the... Flower Dome. Flower Dome. <laughs> number of plants in here that I have never seen or heard of in my entire life. I guess that's the point of paying for it. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Definitely, if there was one versus the other, if you had to choose, the cloud forest is more impressive as a structure in itself because it has the really cool layers and bridges, but... And the waterfall. And the waterfall. But this one is just as cool in, you know, the dome way, but at the end of the day, it, it is just a bunch of plants, which we like, but not everyone likes that. So, you get to choose one or the other cloud forest. Mm -hmm. So, when the evening comes around, there are two things in Singapore that you have got to do. We have yet to do them, but we can't wait. One is you come to the super trees right above us here and they light up at night. The other thing is you go to the bay in front of Marina Sands. There is a huge water show, which we've seen our fair share of water shows, but I've heard this one's really good and much longer than other ones that we've seen. So. Singapore gets it. 